Today we're showcasing Need Prod. Today is the last day of the year and I wanted to take this time to share with the best of the best tutorials that WP Beginner did for 2020. No doubt that it has been a completely different year than normal and we know that we saw a huge increase in people looking to start a blog, get online, get their business running online and we shifted the gears in March and April as well to accommodate a lot of those with the tutorials. So let's dive into some of the best of the best tutorials that you could find for WP Beginner. First in getting started, a lot of times people just don't know what to even start blogging about. So we have a tutorial on best blogging niches that you can get into and we showcase seven of them that will make you money easily. And you can go over those tutorials, but a lot of times it just really boils down to what are you interested in and what can you share that you already know about. So take a look at that tutorial and see if there are any in that niche that you're interested in sharing your knowledge about. Next, once you get started, you also want to make a logo. And a lot of times people think that they have to create logos with expensive software or hire expensive designers to do that. When you're just getting started, you don't have to do that. We show you how you make a logo for your website, simple guide for beginners, so you can get one quickly on your new website. We know that security is an important part of the whole process. So we also show how to perform a WordPress security audit and a complete checklist so you can make sure that your website is doing well. Next, we also show you how to create a custom Instagram photo feed in WordPress. Combining your social media presence with your website is a great way to increase and boost engagement from both your website as well as your social profile. So check that out. And since everybody's wanting to make more money this year, we also created a how to create a paywall in WordPress with preview options. So a lot of times this is great if you're wanting to, instead of selling ads or instead of selling affiliate, you can basically sell your content. You give them a preview, but if they want to read more then they do a paywall. Many newspapers out there are known for doing this and we show you how you can do it as well for your website. And if you're wanting to run a social media contest, we will walk you through how to run a social media contest to grow your website and best practices and examples because there are some things you want to do, some things you don't. So make sure you check that out before you start your own giveaway. We also show you how to automatically add drip content to your WordPress site. This is perfect if you've set up a membership site. So it's a little bit different than the paywall where you have to pay to get access to it. With this, you all already have all the content out there, but people don't get access to it until a certain time of day or a week. Online shopping was a huge thing this year. And so we also show you how to set up WooCommerce conversion tracking. Once you know your conversion rate on your WooCommerce store, then you can start improving on that. So we walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do that for your WooCommerce store. One of the other things we do is we walk you through how to create a coupon pop-up in WordPress step-by-step. Step. That is a typical thing that every online store tends to have these days. You show a coupon for an exchange for an email address. And so we'll walk you through that process. Now, if you're also wanting to get into wholesale pricing, so you create the product and you want to do wholesale pricing to others who want to sell retail to their people, we'll show you how to add wholesale pricing in WooCommerce and we'll walk you through step-by-step. But what if you're not interested in doing wholesale? What if you just want to set up an affiliate program where others be, where others talk about your store and talk about your product and then they send you to them and then they get an affiliate cut? Don't worry, we show you how you can easily add an affiliate program in WooCommerce for your site. Since business was also important, a lot of local businesses were scrambling to get online. I also shared with you a tutorial as well as a video on how to create online order form in WordPress. This is if you're not quite ready for a full WooCommerce online store, but you want to sell a one-off product or your services online, we'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how you can do that here. And if you need to create a secure contact form for your business, we'll walk you through how to do that as well. And there's no question this time, I just want to wish you all a happy and prosperous new year. And we hope to see you again next year when you're starting building and growing your website. And as always, thanks for watching.